Hey, it's Brigzar. Today we're going to look at a vintage Lego set. It is from 1989. It is from the original run of the Lego Pirates theme, the Pirates system. It is set 6285 Black Seas Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. So, this is the first big Lego pirate ship. There were other ships that came out before this one, but in 1989 they launched the pirate system and this was the big pirate ship. It is still my favorite pirate ship. There was another one that was big, the Skull's Eye Schooner, and there were others. And then we got Metal Beard, Sea Cow, which is technically a pirate ship, but this one is my favorite. So I used to own it back then when it first came out, sold it. Now I've bought one that I picked up at a antique mall, Cobb Antique Mall, if you want to know. So, it's a used one, so I had to fix some things with it, but we got it here. Looks to be complete. I got the instructions, I got the catalog that came, so we're going to look at the details and the minifigures you get. It has a very special torso that used to be very rare, but it's not anymore. So let's look at it. So we'll just go ahead and even look at that torso I was talking about, but this is a female <laughs> holding a cup. With, and you may be going, why does it have no legs? It's because this is the part that goes on the front of the ship. They usually have like a mermaid or something. So I think this is supposed to be a mermaid, something like that. But she's naked. Yes, it's a yellow torso, which was the original flesh color of Lego in 1989 introduced us this to the first naked lego person uh, this was the only torso like this until i think 2000 and of course with spongebob this torso is very abundant because it appears in a lot of the spongebob sets and there's other sets that have it but back then this was the only naked lego torso we could get but and also uh, the pirate system gave us more facial hair and patterns than the standard grin so that was pretty cool so yeah there's nothing on the back and she, she's that's she just got her hair on the front and then but a completely blank yellow torso and this is uh red beard this apparently is his ship the black seas barracuda he's got a parrot with him peg leg and everything red beard <laughs> but that is him <clears throat> All right, next we'll look at the pirate, pirate female. Some call her a winch, but that's probably inappropriate. It's the female pirate. She's got the blue bandana thing going on, and she's got the shapely torso. But this was another thing that was kind of new to the late 80s, was getting females that were more female-looking, other than just the head. Also, the torso looked like the female, so that was good. Okay, here are some of your pirate... Um, what they, what would they call these guys? These are the guys that do like all the grunt work on the ship. <laughs> They're also known as Mario and Luigi, apparently. I don't know, but um, they basically got the striped shirts. That's what pirates wear: the striped shirts, and they wear the bandana, and they're naked on the back. But it's pretty much a generic face that was common on a lot of the early pirate sets: the big mustache and nappy hair, and uh, kind of the scruffy beard look and here's uh, the other two pirates these are more like look like they might be in charge like first officers or something they got fancier outfits and both have an eye patch everybody in the pirate world seemed to be poking out their left eye for some reason oh, wait a minute yeah that's their left eye even red beard so <clears throat> Pirate world, not good for left-eyed people. That's what they look like on the back. No back painting. But, um, yeah, so we got a couple of different varieties of uh, heads other than the standard grin, so that was pretty cool. So now we'll look at the main part of this set, the ship, the Black Seas Barracuda. Up here in the front, is where that naked lady is on the front of the ship. I don't know what you call that. So, pardon me if I don't know port side, bow, stern, 
all that other junk. I'm not a nautical person, so I did good to get this ship built. So that's the front. You got the anchor up here in the front. You know, I always thought the anchor went in the back, but I guess it goes in the front. It goes through there. It's on a little wheel that's here in the middle. Let's see if I can show you. Right in here, that's how you can roll it in and out. So that's that. You got a little decking area. You can go over here to the front and say I'm the king of the world if you want to. Um, then I don't know where I don't even know where to start on this thing. It's so big, but these are like cloth the the sails, and you got this one thick string. It's not like a lot of the thin string we get in sets today. It's real thick string to hold it, and then these are held by these old little um, coupler pieces. That's how they they hold those in. So they go up. So you got the lower sails are identical. The upper upper ones are identical. So you got three different types of sails, and then you got this front sail. All right. And we'll slide it over. You see the main deck area here where the cannons are. It's pretty cool. Cannons fire out through there, and they are shooting cannons. The early pirate sets had shooting cannons here in the U.S., and then for a while they became non-shooting. Um, so this set, to be accurate, I think is supposed to have shooting cannons. But you basically put a one-by-one -one round brick in there, and then pull the thing back. Well, you got it. It's hard to load it in this ship. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it in the ship. The, the cannon's designed to be. Um, tilted up at an angle but to get it to come out the little holes on the side you have to make it straight so it doesn't really work boy she's hanging on she did not fall in the water <laughs> that's the plank uh, they show this guy walking the plank in the instructions but then they got different things going on here you got the treasure they've brought in inside there some of the gold coins I'll show you well the other one's kind of hard to get to <sighs> So, yeah, there's basically some of those gold coins. You got the ladder or the thing that holds the, whatchamacallit up. See, I don't know any of the technical names. We'll go up. And up here's a monkey. Oh, you can't even see it. There he is. The monkey hanging. This is supposed to be like the crow's nest area. There's another one on that side. And then it goes back down. And then on the deck... All my cannonballs got all... There's these little storage areas for the cannonballs, which are the one-by-one one round bricks. Can you even see them? <laughs> and then we'll slide it on back. There's another little hole area here. I can't open it. I never could open this one. My finger's too big. can't I can't do it there we go it's like a little window all right so we get to the back area oh there's their little weapons area there they got some guns and then under here I think that's where that treasure is hidden under there there's treasure in there somewhere but oh I know maybe it's under this crooked floor we'll get to the crooked floor the back of the ship is like the coolest part to me get these windows here the the decoration but it's got this tilted floor it's like the joker's lair and batman from the 60s or something there's the wheel there's captain redbeard but this piece actually opens up and i think that's where we reveal the treasure so i'm guessing this is the inside of it that's like the captain's quarters there's the map and those doors lead in can you see the doors? There's doors on either side of the map and the treasure. So now we'll put it all back together. And this is one of the kind of the annoying parts of this set. Is this is what holds the rope for the the um, sails, but it's just it's kind of flimsy 
flimsily built. Uh oh, so I break the rudder. He's not going to be able to drive now. Ugh, is that what you call a ship? Is it steer or drive? So the rudder has come off again. Uh oh. So I try to. Oh, great. I broke the rudder. Came apart. There we go. And try to look at the back of the ship. See, there's all the gold coins that they've been acquiring when they rob other ships. Alright, here's the very back. This is like my favorite part with all the decorations and the window. There's the rudder down there that I broke. You got some more of these flaps here. And then they're towing this this boat. This one pirate. I don't know what he did to be towed. He's, he's attached by string. But I just love all the details. These are little flowers that they're stuck in a Technic brick or something there. You got these little decorative parts. So it looks pretty cool to me. And it's also, I like the slanted build. They they gave to it so that to, to me that's the, the highlight of the set is the details around this captain's area with the slope floor the slanted back the yellow and black contrast fancy windows pretty neat so overall it's a very nice set it was not too bad to build i think it's had 870 pieces as it say on the box 865 pieces eight minifigures eight and a half minifigures um, I did have some problems with it being an older set. I lost an oar. Oh, no, that wasn't the problem. I didn't lose an oar. But um, there's a lot of flags. And with time, these flags become brittle. Like these, uh, the big flags here, even the little ones. I had two of the red flags, the little clips broke. Let's see if I can show you here. Look. Clip broke there, and then b both of the um, skull and crossbones, the big ones, their clips broke. This one wouldn't even attach. One of them's actually broken on the ship. It, it's still got enough clips to hold. This one's broken. I stole that one from another set. I actually need to order two of these from somebody uh, so I can replace it. Uh, other than that, all the other parts are in pretty good condition. Uh, the sails have faded. This should be a more crisp white, but after 25 years, I think even if this set was new in the box and never been opened, I think it would have faded by now. Uh, probably even more so, though, being if you had it displayed, taking in ultraviolet light, that would uh, really cause it to fade. But for a used set, I'm really happy with the condition of this set, and it is a really neat looking set. This would be a good one to display. Here's the box. It came in a really big box. It had a lid that would open. And I, I think there would probably be a plastic tray that's even over this part. And it would have like to display some of the elements because you could see through it here. Uh, this box did not come with all that. A lot of times people didn't think to keep it. And then on the back here, some really good pictures of some alternate builds. I got actually got this thing oriented wrong. It probably should be like this. So that's the box. And then here's the instruction manual. It's a big one. Oh, there's that. <laughs> I was missing a gun. <laughs> I was like, man, I should have one more gun. It's like, I wasn't even going to mention it in the review. <laughs> and there it was. It was in the instruction manual. I was going to look for it later. I didn't think anybody would notice. But it just, it, it popped out. In the middle of the review interesting so that's the instruction manual and so on the back it shows some of those alternate builds there and that's the last page but nice instruction manual and then here we're going to look at the catalog this is a 1989 catalog probably should do a separate review for it but it's got pirates on the front because that's the year we got the pirates and then we'll just tell you what we'll just go to the pirate section so all new Legoland pirate system. We had the Black Seas Barracuda right there. And another classic, the El Dorado Fortress and the Caribbean Clipper. Three of my favorite pirate sets, and they were all in the first year of Lego Pirates. And then it shows the shooting cannon there. They did take it away in the U.S. temporarily. I guess that's why we get the eyeball warning in a lot of the fleet fire missile sets today. That's the only three they show. And I don't know if that's... Oh, wait, no. There's Forbidden Island. 
another original. And we do have Forbidden Island. We will be doing a review of it as well. So only, only four in this catalog from the initial year of Pirates. And I re believe I've already reviewed the Eldorado Fortress. If I haven't, I will. And I got that set. We picked it up in the same time we got this one. Don't have the Caribbean Clipper anymore. Anyway, that's the catalog. So, they might be bricks. What do you think about this set? It is awesome. I like how big it is. I think it's better than Metal Beard Sea Cow because it's actually finished built. <laughs> yeah, because we didn't, we haven't finished building Metal Beard. You, you like the figures? Yeah. I mean, they're kind of plain. I know, but I like them. I like the uh, red beard. Okay. You like the look of the ship? Mm hmm. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. So that's a look back into LEGO history from 25 years ago. It's at 6285 Black Seas Barracuda from the initial run of LEGO Land Pirate System. Very cool set. I will say that Black, uh, Black, what's the set that came out with the LEGO movie? Metal Beard Sea Cow. Okay, truly an awesome set. It's got great figures. It has got tremendous details. I'm not even finished building it yet. But if you're going to ask me if I had to choose, I could either have Black Seas Barracuda or Metal Beard Sea Cow. I would have to say I want the Black Seas Barracuda. Yes, Metal Beard Sea Cow does come with Benny and some other cool minifigures. But I like this set. Just a great look. I love the vintage sets it has more detailed pieces than some of the older vintage sets but this is the right mix for me i'm just partial to this one tell me what you think do you like the old pirate stuff like this i i do know that later in the pirates theme that came out in the late 90s and into 2000 i wasn't as crazy about those as i was some of these early ones but i thought lego did a very good job in these early years with the pirate system so pretty cool to me i hope you like it hope you like this video we will be reviewing more uh, Castle and that Forbidden Island Pirate set as well. And if I haven't reviewed the El, El Dorado Fortress, I will do it uh, as well. i got to go look and see if I've done it. I can't even remember. That's what happens when you do 860 reviews. Thanks for watching. It's pretty bizarre.